Peace Pew Talk. Pew Talk. Pew Talk. Pew Talk. With Mari and the man of the house. True stories. Great advice. Hello, this is Pillow Talk. Yes, this is Pillow Talk with Marion Emanable. You can call me Fab of Nigerian Celebrity Network. Um, today's episode or today's topic of Pillow Talk is what I call Puppet Masters. Puppet Masters. Puppet Masters are to describe people who make other people in their relationship like puppets. They act like they are the puppet masters. They, you know, manipulate the relationship to suit them. They are selfish people that get into relationships to get something out of their partner. It's not about love for them. It's not about uh, respect. It's not about building a long-standing relationship. They are in this relationship to get your money, to get some kind of social status, to get some kind of immigration status, to get something out of it. They want to benefit from this relationship. It's not a genuine intention on the part of the puppet masters. And a lot of us fall victim to puppet masters. A lot of women, a lot of men out there fall victims to people who get into relationship looking for something other than love. I've spoken to a lot of people recently that, you know, have shared their experiences with me and told me, you know, stories about how they brought their partners from Nigeria to the U.S. You know, they got married to them and brought their partners. I am actually a victim of of this you know topic today that I'm talking about when you think the person you're marrying or the person that you're bringing over from Nigeria to the US you know you're bringing them because you know you love them you're trying to build a family you try to build a relationship with them but you know they got into the relationship for obvious reasons to use you puppets masters they lie they deceive you never see them coming. They, they hit you from the left field. They take you down. They ruin you. By the time you realize what they've done, it's too late. So here's the story today. There's this guy who brought a woman, a girl, from Nigeria to the U.S., did all the immigration, met the girl when he went to Nigeria on vacation, fell in love with this girl, did not ask all the questions before he married the girl because he was fascinated by her beauty. She was gorgeous, gorgeous girl. I saw her pictures. Beautiful girl. So I think he got carried away by this girl's beauty and did nothing to investigate who she was. Turns out the girl was prostituting in Nigeria. Not only that, she was bisexual. She was sleeping with men. She was sleeping with women. And prostituting while she was in Nigeria. This guy had no idea. This girl started dating him because she wanted by all means to come to the U.S. so she can continue her prostitution ways in the U.S. Of course, we know prostitution is a crime in the U.S., if you get caught prostituting, you go to jail. But of course, the girl didn't know that. So, cut long story short, she came to the U.S. courtesy of this guy who did all the paper, got married to her in Nigeria, um, 
made sure she got her green card. She came into the U.S. with a green card. And the guy, thinking about, oh, I'm building a relationship with this woman, um, put her name on the house, on his house, and bank account, joint bank account, her name was on the account and all that. Now, this girl came here and, you know, started her ways, started talking to men, people she had known prior to her marriage, she connected with them again. Connected with them, and she was calling them on the phone, talking to them, and the ones in the U.S., she was arranging, trying to find ways to hook up with them and continue having sex with them for money. Now, the thing is, the guy, I think, caught on somewhere along, you know, along the way, or maybe he thought, you know, I need to make sure that this girl is not, you know, playing me because I think he, not he noticed a few things about the girl. So what he did was he installed a camera in his house without the girl knowing about it. Put the camera up, you know, like discreet camera and bugged their phone, their house phone. She was clueless because she's just coming from Nigeria. She had no idea that you can bug somebody's phone. You can bug the house phone. So this guy goes on a business trip like he always does, traveling all around, trying to make money for both of them. He travels, and she's busy calling all these people on the phone. And this was recorded. So the guy had access to all her conversation while he was gone. She even went a step further and brought a man to the house. All right, On one occasion, one of her clients that she talked to on the phone, because there was a recording, so, you know, Everything just kind of fell into place for the guy. He understood what was going on because there was a recording, all the conversations with the guy making the arrangement to fly into their city and see the girl. Came to the house while this guy was away on business trip. Slept with the girl in the house with the camera recording, with the, with the discreet camera recording all the movements from the living room to the bedroom to the basement. Everything was caught on camera. She had no idea. She thought maybe she was sneaky and slick and she got away with it. Now, after all the escapade, the guy left and multiple other phone calls that she, she was making, you know, with other men, trying to make arrangements of when are you coming into town? Of course, trying to turn her matrimonial home into a brothel while the husband was away working on business, trying to make money for both of them. Okay? So this guy found out he could access his camera from outside the state, wherever he was, he could log into the computer, access his camera, and see what, what got recorded, what happened while he was not there. And came back, of course, he was so mad, he was pissed off. Came back, he was able to access like the, the house phone that he bugged, heard everything. And you know, he, came, he said he came back, and this girl was so sweet. She was, oh my, oh, she was like, oh my God, so sweet. Honey... Sugar, darling, your food is ready. You know, how was your trip? Uh, I hope, you, oh God, playing and playing and playing and playing. Puppet master. Puppet master. But guess who got played? She got played because she was dealing with a very smart man. A man that knew to take precaution. A man that had the sense to separate his emotion from reality and know that you can love someone but you need to trust someone also you need to trust someone in order to love them a hundred percent you know i know some people will probably you know say when you love somebody why question love is forgiving love is this love is also smart don't get you know uh, i'm turned into a puppet in your marriage or in your relationship this girl was caught. So what the guy did, he quickly took her back to Nigeria. Like, you know, let's go to Nigeria and do some kind of traditional wedding and blah, 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 blah. Dragged her to Nigeria. Got to Nigeria and took her passport. As soon as they got to Nigeria, took her international passport. Once he took the, the girl's international passport, he now told the girl, 
he had an emergency. His house was on fire back in the U.S. Because he had his friend in the U.S. call him while he was in Nigeria to say, the house is on fire, blah, 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 the police statement, they need this, so you have to come back. The guy went, you know, left Nigeria, came to the U.S., took the girl's passport. Of course, the girl, because she was so naive, she had no driver license. She, she tried a couple times. She did not pass. She was so clueless. She didn't even remember her social security number. She decided, you know, <laughs> give me my passport before he left. The guy refused to give her the passport. The guy was like, you know, I'm coming back to pick you up. Don't worry about it. You know, I'll take you, blah, blah, blah. Now, when the guy went back, the guy called her to tell her, you know what? I'm done with this marriage. You can chill in Nigeria. You can chill. You get the divorce papers. I'm good. I'm cool. Don't worry about it. It was good. It was fun while it lasted. Now, the girl trying to put on the gangster move and went to the embassy in Nigeria to go see if it was possible to get some kind of permit to come back to the U.S. and got there. With her, she went with her mother to the embassy, all right, to go fight this whole thing and say, oh, you know, he abused me. But there, were, of course, there was no evidence. There was nothing to trace or to, to to see see that there was any kind of abuse in that relationship. She tried everything she could. She, you know, went to the embassy. They said, what's your social security number? She had no idea. She couldn't remember. Do you have a driver's license? No. So of course, there's no driver's license number. So you just have your name and your date of birth, and that's it. How are we going to pull your record? Do you have your immigration re um, record number? No, she didn't. All right? So, eventually, they said, you know, we're sorry, we can't help you. Tell your husband to contact us and we can process, you know, your papers so that you can come back. Of course, you know, the husband did not call. The husband did not process anything. Anyway, the girl got dumped. All right? So, this guy caught on on time. You know, though he fell victim to puppet master temporarily, but he was able to turn the situation around and it was a win-win situation for him, although he was emotionally tainted by that experience. So this message today on Pillow Talk about puppet master is for you out there. If you're bringing someone from outside of the country or you're doing paper for someone, you need to wake up. All right, be at alert. Double check, triple check, make sure you're not being used. Make sure the puppet master is not at work in your life and in your relationship. You know, I hope you can somehow manage to handle your business and protect yourself so you don't get played by the player. And you shouldn't because you are supposed to be the player. When you write the player's book, you should be able to get caught on before you get played. Okay, by the puppet master. So, thank you for listening to Pillow Talk. My name is Marion Amanabo, aka Fab. I will have another juicy story for you next time on Pillow Talk. And follow me on Facebook, add me, be a fan, like me, whatever you need to do um, to keep this show going. I appreciate everyone. Thank you, and I hope I'll come your way soon. Um, till then, it's ciao. This is Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk. With Mary and the man of the True stories. Great advice. Interest. Educated. Educated.